Well, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is us going to Click Clockwood, let's get this final world done, then we can go take the fight to Gruntilda herself. This world is unique, in so far as, unlike everywhere else, there are four separate areas inside the world, as in, you physically cannot access uh, any of the areas without uh, leaving the other area. It's not like in, uh, for example, Clanker's Cavern where there was the area for Clanker's area, um, to live and then the other parts. Nope. If you hit this part, you open up. Technically the second, because this is this counts, but this is actually just a wee hub. The first area of Click Clock Wood, the springtime Click Clock Wood. So let's get moving into there. Now, with the exception of autumn, the three, the four areas all have. Uh, what do you call it? What was that thing? Yeah, they all have 16 musical notes available in them. In autumn, there's. There, uh, sorry, in the hub there's four, and then in autumn there's the remains. So we should get we should get started. Alrighty. We need to be a bit careful when we're doing this area because spring is pretty difficult to. Hmm. In general, I think this area is pretty difficult, but it's also considered the most well designed in the game. And I can entirely understand why it would be considered that. It's lovingly crafted, you know? This area, you can tell they wanted to make this awesome. Right. Because the brambles will otherwise hurt you, we're going to jump in and grab them so we can grab that mumbo stroke. Then we're going to hope for the best as we run to the next area. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Right, oh. You do want to climb the tree, but we'll do that in a second. We'll get round other areas as well. Go and we're going to we can get these. There's a lot of these uh oh we can get back up here so we might as well go down. There's a lot of those enemies around in this area. I noticed that much when I played through it. But trying to remember what we need to do here. Possibly if we launch eggs in, that might be what we need to do. There we go. We got it so eventually. Oh, we don't actually need that. We can just run up it. Down there is Naughty the Beaver. And if you, you can help him, in one of the later months, but not in the spring month. Well, not in the spring area. Everything you do in one area can affect the other areas though. I think that should be all the musical notes for spring. If, I'm, if I've made a mistake and there's more than 16 then I apologise, but I was sure there was only 16 in three of the areas. Of course, if we get all the musical notes and all the honeycombs here, we get ourselves another achievement. Because we will then have all of this lot, you know? Hey, we now have enough mumbo tokens. 
And we'll get this later. Well, we'll get that later. Hmm. And this is a beehive. In case you couldn't tell that. Ah, an extra mumble token. More than needed. Anyway. This is a bit of a dangerous bit. Because you need to be careful not to fall to your doom. But as you can see, it can be done, you know? Another mumbo token, but that's all that's there and we don't need it, so might as well leave it. Right, what we do need however is to land on these, on one of those wooden platforming bits. Because the wooden platforms are how we get further along and further up the tree. Aha, and we'll put a summer switch as well. Wow, that failed. We can now enter summer. Fantastic stuff. Alright, we'll enter there in a bit. On the way back, we'll get that. In fact, no, we'll get that now. Specifically so we don't need to make our way back without difficulty. Alright, entering. Hmm. I have a strange feeling that that'll be something usable for a jigsaw piece later on. Well, he will be something usable for a jigsaw piece later on. Wow, this is a big day tree, isn't it? Right. And that's a big egg. Well, in my experience, if it's a big egg, you shatter it and you get a jigsaw out of it. Oh. Well, we just hatched a bird and got nothing out of it. Remember when I said you get things in later areas? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That didn't actually take as much damage as I thought it would. Now my panicked cries don't actually seem that viable. All it is now is tedium to get back up there. Well, at least we didn't take much damage and that was me being stupid. I could have just turned around and went the other way. We got that this was a circular part and you had to go up that way. Damn it. Well, at least we left some of them, which meant it was easier for us. <clears throat> By leaving at least one of the health parts, we gained health on the way back up. Alright, wooden platforms are easy enough to land on. The next part, which isn't as we've seen. Alright. We made it to the top. Because that guy's there. Oh, he can't kill them. Should mention that. We got ourselves a ginger though.
Right. There must be something in here. Yeah, there's a jigsaw. That's our very first jigsaw of the level as well. Huh. We need to get back down without dying. Is that where are where are we on the map? Would it have been viable for me just to drop down and land in and hope that I landed in water? Ah oh well, we'll just jump our way down because it's in the spring we can actually have Mumbo Transformers. So yeah, let's go have Mumbo Transformers, yeah. Please do not land on the ground. Yeah! We're alright, we're alright, fantastic. That was a dodgy tactic to try. So, shall we off ski to Mumbo's hut? Christ almighty, are we ever going to actually land on that thing? There we go. Interestingly, spring is the only time in this one, if I'm remembering correctly, that Mumbo will transform you. In the summer, it's too hot. In the winter, he's away. And in the autumn, he's sweeping up leaves. So spring is the only time you get. Hey, we got enough. But. Before we do anything else, we should check what's up here, and it appears to be just eggs. We can use eggs though, so we might as well collect them. There we go, that's all of them, I assume. That's us. We are now a big bee. And bees can fly, albeit as as they are in real life, a bit erratically. But if we just fly right up to the very top of the tree, there should be an extra platform somewhere. Or should give us a jigsaw piece. Of course, it's very possible I went actually too high to get it. Right, let's let's find the top platform anyway, from where we are. Right. There's there, that's as far as I know, that's the top platform of the tree. Ah, when I land. Unless I was wrong, that's the wrong time I'm... No, it is in the spring. I might do it, I'm sure. Must be that I've not gone high, high enough, maybe? No, I can't go any higher than this. Aha! There was a hat. I was right, I was right, I was going the right way and crap. That's gonna be a difficult one to land on, so I might as well just try and fly it. A fly by grabbing! Nope, not gonna happen. Eh. Okay, just fly into the tree and then straight down. Yeah, that works. For some reason they don't attack the bee, but anyway. Right, we can also enter the beehive as a bee. That's a good tactic, I suppose, have, be have bees um, deal with it, because no one likes messing with bees. But we grabbed the pink, 
guy, uh, pink, uh, Jinjo. I actually think that's enough. We don't need to do anything else. In the spring, as far as I remember. So let's go to the summer. Although we'll transform it being a bee, we won't need to be anymore. Alright. Oh. Landed on, his, on the eye there. Okay. We can make that jump to there. So we can go around this way. And then just run around the other way to get to the exit. Hey, we've got back to 100 eggs. <laughs> Don't know if we need any more actually. Not for a while anyway. Alrighty, let's get going. Summer's this way. And being a brand new hub area means that we've got brand new enemies to face inside. I mean, a lot of them look identical and that's interesting. Because we hatched him, we get we get a request from him and that looks like there's something over there. Let's go have a look at that once we've picked up that capital. Yes, sadly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a, a random group of bees. That's, that's odd. I'm not used to, I didn't remember them. They're 2D as well. Anyway. Let's get up. Here. Yeah, technically they count as new enemies because it's a different time in month. Time of year, even. Right. We don't actually need a Mumbles token anymore because it's always free to transform a second or third time. Well, look that. However, we're going to go over to Mumbles Mountain anyway. At Mumbles Hut anyway. Specifically because I can see from here there's a ah, crap. There's a catapult there. Of course, as you can see, we don't get the wearing boots anymore, we just get a shot jump pad and told good luck. Right. Let's get this way. Hey, bigger leaves, which means easier to land on. Whoa. Somehow I managed to fall off. Let's try that again, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> I've got a mini shop jump pad specifically so you can get... Okay, I can see where I'm going. Cool. Thought I'd missed it so I jumped again and then it turns out I hadn't. Whoa! No, 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 no! Damn it! That's upsetting. I have to try that all over again. <laughs> When we find the five caterpillars, we'll go, we'll go deal with Eerie, is it? See, that's one thing, I don't... I don't like that I don't know how to pronounce that name. That's a very... I'm sure that means eagle, you know? Or at least something to do with birds, so I don't need to worry about it, but still. Alright, what's up here then? Hmm, more of them. Might as well have a look. Oh, that one's just a mumbles token. What's over here? 
Oh, up to a caterpillar. No, 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 no. Yeah, we managed it, we're fine. Right, oh, ah! It was a shortcut. Cool. We're looking, if I'm right, it's up to 36, yeah? If there's 16 in every level. Right, I don't like that you're not really see in there. Right. This is basically a leaf, isn't it? Nope, we're not making that. That, 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 that. Oh, we missed the water by how little? There's a beehive there we could probably attempt to deal with. Yes, the game is slowing down again. There we go. Right, should we get rid of that? Yeah! Fantastic, another jigsaw piece. Oh, we're not getting up that. Okay, fair enough. Let's try it this way. Hmm. As it turns out, we can't actually climb that. Well, we'll have to get in there another time. Aha! The autumn. Oh, crap, we're actually dead. So, let's try that again. <clears throat> Cannot believe I've actually died this time. Taking us a while, but yeah, we're finally dead. Oh crap, we need to click caterpillars again. I knew I should have went for health. I knew I should have. <sighs> ah well, might as well go grab the caterpillars again, as I said. Although, maybe before I do that... <clears throat> if you climb the tree, there's more you can do in summer. <clears throat> I mean, it's exactly the same, I think it's like the same amount of things you can do, but there's more total, so you can get some stuff done. That counts towards the total, I think, is what I meant. Alrighty, I found some more musical notes. And there's now a divot on top of the beehive for us to drop into. Yep, they've recognised us. Now, if we just hold like this, they kill the spell. You know? Not exactly the most difficult of things to do there. So, we still need to get the five caterpillars. And we still need to get that bloody jigsaw, although I think that the, that one might actually just stay a bit longer than normal, if you know what I mean? It might actually appear in another month as well, if we're lucky. Doesn't matter. We got it anyway. Now we're trying to get to... oh shit. Do that again. Right, I'm gonna try. Nope. I have no idea how you can deal with him. At all. You must be able to because there's a flying switch underneath it. We need to hit that again. 
Wow, we're not for the money hat and are we? There we go. Go on. Voilà. Well, we would go inside, but as we know from last time, we physically can't get up there. Right, we've opened up autumn as well. We've now only got winter to open. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Let's get going this way. Right. We've got a couple of things we still need to do in summer, but not that many. Mainly the things we still need to do, to be honest, are go back to the plant and see what we can do to help it grow. And then we need to go and find, make sure we've got all five caterpillars for, for Iris, Aerie, whatever his name is. And we can do that quite simply, actually, can't we? I just... I think we've actually got quite a few of them. Don't yep, it's us again. <laughs> He's now out of water. I think we killed Dobie. Oops. But we've got the... We've done a little bit helpful. Okay, we grabbed ourselves another caterpillar there. We've got five, we don't need more than five, but we might as well collect any more to see, you know? Hmm. We're gonna kill this guy. Nope, they haven't. Cool. Well, we've got him now. We now need to go up to the top of the, of the tree to get to. What's his face? The eagle. Here. I have no idea what his name is. I'm just going to pronounce it however I think I should pronounce it at that exact second. Anyway, up we go. Notes we've collected. That's, that's pretty irritating. Yeah, you can clearly see that somebody's still building these things. That's odd. Oh, look! Down there, it's another caterpillar. We'll need more than five, I bet. We've got need five just now. Oh, Christ, can we not make it up without crossing up? Did not even consider that that would be difficult. And again, that's another 16. So as I said, if I am right, that's us got all of the ones in this uh, time as well. Crap, 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 da, 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 no, yes, yes, we can still glide our way back to somewhere in the tree at least. I forgot that when you do the uh, glide, you can't, um, can't do an attack in here, so that was why that screwed up so horribly. Those things, by the way, they're not the, the Venus flytrap-like things are called snare bears, so I'm assuming they only will go for bears. 
Which also would explain why they didn't attack the bee. Ah, damn it, I did it again, did it again, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ow. It's because I don't think I'm going to make the jump, you know? It doesn't look like you can make it. And therefore I give myself a better chance of making it. Which ends up screwing me up. If I die again, that's going to be annoying. Although I think... Hmm, I'm still going to do the... Eh, uh, still need to open up his home again. Yeah, I really just don't want to die in here now. Oh, sorry. The game wouldn't slow down, would be alright, but it's slowing down horrifically, so. Take me the wrong way. I remembered we got rid of that one. There we go, we got him that time. And he was the last one of the set. Oh no no no, that would have been horrendous if we'd fallen there. That's horrible when you think about the fact that the caterpillar spoke to you earlier. Yeah, he got himself a bit of a ghost spot there. I also think that's everything we can do in summer. So we might as well head down the way. Without, without going down the way in the same method that I was using earlier of dropping. Those bees are going to attack us again. Problem is, unlike, unlike the other ones, you can't just drop, you know? In the other ones, at this point, you can just drop and the water would save you, but you can't this time. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glide so that we manage it, no problem. Alright, heading into autumn. Autumn, as I said, is the one that has the most the most musical notes in. So we should end autumn with only 16 notes to go. Almost ran right back in there. But autumn, autumn, here we come. Well, we need to get, I think it was seven or eight more caterpillars then. So, wonder what's going to be about in here then. Aha, ah, there's another caterpillar. Yeah, we needed eight total. Now we need seven. Right, this is how they can get away with giving us so many more of the musical notes. That's a point, maybe we should check inside Mumbo's hut just in case there's notes in there. Because there will be one week, one one, just clearly not this, uh, not the last one, or the, uh, and we already checked one before that. So, as we're looking for 10 caterpillars total, who else can I should explore? Yep, to make sure that there's not one. Hey, I was right, there was, there was uh, musical notes in there. Ah! Well. We got some out of the deal. And we got ourselves another caterpillar, so we can't really complain too badly. I mean, probably way over away from these things. The brambles are a problem in three out of the four seasons. In winter, almost every plant is dead, so we don't really need to worry about it. 
Here we go, we're on six now. Hey, Gobi's still there. Wonder if we can hit him again. Hey, the orange ginger. We've only got the blue one to go. Oh wow, we've got caught under the leaf there. Yup, he's feeding it again. Hey, we got ourselves a dig. There's the dig saw up there. The Lava World is actually a reference to Banjo Tui, which I do not own and will not be playing through unless I decide I really need to play through it for my own benefit and for the benefit of these videos. Crap, I need to jump back across that to get there. Oh, that's the point. I can actually now um, go into, because the water level is risen, I assume I can probably go into the guys the uh, fever school. So we'll do that in a second, but first we're going to continue going round this tree before we go up it. We should go round it. Yeah! We're on 8 caterpillars, that's not bad at all. Alright. Let's swim into Naughty's house. <laughs> At least they remembered us, I suppose. And we can get two musical notes and three eggs. Again, no, I'm not 100% sure if we need any more eggs. Alright then, let's get going. Okay, what do we need to do in autumn now? Let's think, let's think. Well, we still need to pick up the jigsaw from the flower, and I'm assuming the easiest way to do that would be to drop from a decent height. So yeah, let's drop from a decent height. Oh crap, got to go get that. Yeah, that one there just reminded me that there was a round about. Oh. Make sure I don't get attacked. There was somewhere around, there was a... Yeah, there was one of these bear snares. Ah oh, crap, which had three musical notes in it. But we ran out of vulnerability feathers at the wrong time there. We need to make sure we can find more somewhere. Or figure out how to kill those damn things. Right, we'll go get the. Wow! Thought I'd got him already. Well, we'll go try to figure it. We'll try to find some more uh, invulnerability feathers before we do anything else. And if we have to, we'll go for. Uh, just taking damage and hoping for the best, you know? Not a tactic I'm a big fan of. But right there is three of the musical notes. So we really, we really do need to be able to get them. Alright, let's get playing. Let's go with him. Right. If yet another caterpillar just hanging about here, surely by now they'd have learned. Surely even getting one should be enough to keep them right. That's not a safe place when the George is looking for his dinner. You know? Ah well. I actually missed one of those ones we didn't see Hey, we've got ourselves another caterpillar. We've now got enough. Fantastic. Okay, drop him down. And hey, we landed on the floor. Seven. That's not bad at all. 
Maybe we need to play the T again though. And there was no invulnerability fellas to be seen. We may need to actually come back here just for those three damn notes. Because we need two to make sure we don't get hurt. But to be honest, I could deal with only getting one and taking a bit of damage. Alright, one of these three wasn't killed. I think it was the middle one. Yeah, it was. Wasn't even not killed through uh, ignorance. It was not killed by bad luck of it being out of the way when I attacked and me just not caring enough to go back for it. Hey, we made it up to the the tree house again. And we can have an extra life valve and musical notes again. Oh crap, 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 I've never even seen him, so it's good to attract the attention of behind us. And they still can't actually see. That's annoying. Alright, we can now go flex that we now have. I was correct, by the way. We did need to do things for him. Thank God it wasn't, actually. Alright, let's go in here. Hmm. There's an acorn down here. We've got one of them left. We needed six, total. There's another one there. Let's keep looking, so let's have a look. I know it's unlikely, but let's have a look inside his own house. Some people can in this place, it's stupid, isn't it? Fucking off. There's another one. That's two so far. There's another one, I think. Yeah, it is. That's two. That's odd. Please tell me I've not missed. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm not dead. I'm not dead, we're alright. We can climb back up the damn tree that way. As long as I'm not dead, it's all good. <laughs> That was a painful landing, that one. Hey, look, there's a health point out there, we can grab that. There we go. We got another two, which means we're in four total. That's not bad. And where are the rest of them are? There's a vulnerability fair that just popped it there. Bet you guys all noticed it earlier and were wondering why I hadn't collected it, but it was just that I didn't see it. Handling razor, yeah. No, it's often razor. Cycle stats are usually the right one. Well, we might not have enough yet, but it does look like I can get the last two here. And down there. So that's maybe a bit of a dodgy one to go for, isn't it? It's... There we go, we got it. Got them all.
right. Hey, look, I remember not to just jump, you know? And look, it's the winter switch. Fantastic. We have now unlocked the last area. There's actually a, a, a caterpillar behind them. Quite a lot of this stuff done already now. Right, if I'm correct, we should be able to get 84 total by the time we leave here. Uh, musical notes, that is. I'm also, one, uh, I'm also curious. So, well, very little more to be honest, but oh crap, that was almost a miss. Do we get anything for going into their mouth? No, we do not. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing in here other than a bundle of enemies that are difficult to get rid of without invulnerability feathers. I actually think impossible to get rid of without invulnerability feathers. Right. Again, I forget where we are on the map, so I can't just jump in the one way view. Hold on. No, I think we're the wrong side. No, it must be the right side, but because... Oh, sorry. I'll just find down the easy way. Right, there's somewhere we clearly haven't been in here though, if I'm, if I'm to be correct. Oh, shit. Damn it, you can still hit me when I'm in the water, that's upsetting. Right, well let's have a wee wonder about. I'm sure there's more we can do in summer in the autumn months than we've done. You know what, I'm actually going to check how many um, jigsaw pieces we've got at least. So I think there's only two or so we can get in, in uh, winter. If there are only two, I'm entirely correct because of, we've got eight. But I think we need a few more notes than we've got. We need to be right. Well, there's those, there's those ones in that guy right there. Oh, come on, that was unfair. Oh, shit, we shouldn't do that. Just realised how low our health actually was. Um, Crap. Well, it's good. Run away from the bees, run away from the bees. That, that. Hit twice, and we're not going to be able to get those notes without any vulnerability feather. So I guess we have to come back to awesome later. Ah well.
Winter, I've always viewed as one of the easier areas because you don't get those bloody sneer bears, as they're called. But I suppose you could find them more difficult because you do get the effing snowmen reappearing from easy the peak. However, reflect for ourselves a gold feather. And there's a flying pad. The flying pad will be actually incredibly useful because we want to get rid of all the snowmen. Oh no way! Did he turn exactly the right frickin' moment to avoid me? Wow. I'm having difficulty aiming this one, aren't I? There we go, he's gone now. Why did I go upwards? I was trying to go downwards. Um, fly down to hit. Damn it, missed his head. Didn't that time though. Damn it, but I did run out of time in my... I did uh, land on the ground. Oh look, there's another flying pad. That's useful. Because, I think, yep, there it is, yeah. The blue ginger is in the roof of Mumbo's hut. Yeah, we got a gamer picture for that. I think it's a Kazooie one. Whoa, damn it. Landed again. Right, there's a few more of those guys for the snowmen, which is irritating because one of them, as I said, I may have mentioned, I think one of them hides the Guntilda switch, just like he did in Freezy the, the Peak. Got that one, but it wasn't him. However, because there's a flying pad, it also makes it a lot easier to claim the goddamn. Oh, there's the Guntilda switch right there. Did we hurt ourselves? No. No, I think we're okay. Right, let's land and get that switch. To get that one, we're going to need to be a B when we leave this area. I should have thought that through. So, we've only got very little to go actually. Not 100% sure why I flew there. It's actually going to be easier for us to collect everything if we just actually run, you know? Because there's still, there's still um, musical notes to collect. The honeycombs, one of them we need to be flying for, but the other one we don't. So, the other one, however, is more dangerous to go for. Let's go for the notes and jigsaw first. I think the jigsaw, we must get some sort of paint wall shot at him. Crap, we have to go and fly to kill him and get those notes. Can we? Whoa, whoa. Well, that hive's gone. Maybe maybe we could have got into the um, beehive in autumn, and that's where a few of the notes would have been. So we need to go back to spring as well as back to autumn. We should probably go back to autumn uh, first. Specifically, so that we're not so that we leave the world as we need to. Whoa. Right. Kazooie's more sure footed, so we're going to use her. 
He's also faster, but that's actually not that important. Ow. Exactly as it turns out, we kinda need to do a bit more flying. Hmm, wonder who that pink one is. And by the way, we will, we will keep on wondering, it's never mentioned in the game or anything. She's just there. Nabnuts' girl. Horrible name that I think about it, Nabnuts. It just sounds a lot dodgier than it's meant to. Alright, let's go to... He's grown up, hasn't he? Those wings don't look big enough for his body. Huzzah! I think that's the 10th jigsaw piece. That means we've got all except from, there's only one jigsaw piece in the whole game still to get. That's brilliant. So, we now need to get the remains of the notes. And if we can get the other honeycombs, that's even better. Though this is pretty difficult flying, uh, jumping this. Just because you need to make sure that you don't skeeter off the edge. So let's get back down to the ground. Or even better as a plan. Let's try to land on that. No, damn it. Okay, it wasn't a better plan, it was a plan. So if we can kill those two snowmen, we'll be well. We'll be laughing, you know? If we can kill the two of them, we can just land at one of them and then run back to the other. Go. One down. Where was the other one? There we go. Got it. We're done. Oh, that's a flying pad is what it is. Right. Oh, if we hit that, and then we can manage to land... Ah, damn it. We want to land inside it. Damn it. I was hoping we could get that. Oh, well. By attacking up there, we've opened up a honeycomb. Yeah, that was right. Although, for some reason, there's an enemy inside his secret stash of acorns. You take a lot more damage in the later levels, don't you? Well, I suppose that does make sense. The game is meant to get harder. Well, we're down to one honeycomb piece to find. We're grabbing these musical notes before we do anything else. So right, let's see if I can manage to land correctly. Hey, we didn't take too much damage from that. And we landed, so that's not a problem either. Right, how many musical notes will we have at the end of this? Yes. I mean, we think we need again uh, another shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, let's have another wee 
scan of the area before we head. Yeah. I don't know of one place I need to go. Oh, that's a point. I don't remember how many musical notes I've collected in here. Right. But there's one honeycomb we haven't collected at least. And it's pretty dodgy to go for. You freeze uh, underwater is exactly the same, as we probably just said, as uh, Rust the Bucket Bay's water does. Deals you extra damage the longer you're in it. So, we should be able to get out of this though, yep. But look, here's the other honeycomb piece. We have the achievement, show me the honey. Now the issue here is you're most likely to see the drowning animation at this moment because it's just like in real life you need to find the hole in the ice and if you don't remember exactly where you're going you will not make it. However, it's slightly easier than in real life to see where the ice breaks. Right, I thought there might have been maybe some musical notes in there. That's annoying. I'm not 100% sure where any of them are now. If there's any left in here. Because I thought there was, what, seven or so left in bottom. And we knew where three of them were. Well, we might as well go into Mumbo's hut. And see what's inside. And look what it was, it was a beehive without bees to protect it. Hold on, I'm going to check how many notes we've got. So yeah, if I'm right, then we are only then we're missing four from this area. And after like me, I'm not having an easy time remembering where they would be. Unless they're in ah, I see them. Right, okay, that was annoying, but we got there. Really hope we can make that, no, we can't even make that jump, we need to do it correctly. I hate this, because I need to land on that and then quickly do that, yeah. So if you've done it a little slower, but it just slid straight off, possibly to our freaking doom. Down. Suppose we're in full health, we can probably survive that landing. Balls to it, let's check. In fact, nah, let's see if we can make that landing. Yeah, we can make that, no problem. And... Ground level, fantastic. Let's go back to Autumn. And get the seven that I am not sure where they all are. Then we can go back to spring, collect the, uh, turn back into being a bee, and that's us. Ain't it great? Alrighty. Moving, moving, moving. And then this guy's going to start getting irritated with us. Here we go, we've got 
96. We now need to find the other four to have all 900 notes in the game. You may have just noticed, of course, I hope you just noticed, that you do get the, those, the enemies do stay dead. Like, between levels, between worlds, between time zones, that's what I was looking for. So if you actually do... Aha! There's, a note, there's some notes in here anyway. Two. Three. Yeah! We got all the musical notes as well. And I actually screwed that up. Out we go. Well, let's go back to spring, turn into a bee. And then that'll be us. Yeah, we landed in the water as well, no damage. This, of course, is taking long, longest because it is the final world. We'll probably be doing a cut, you know, like a part A and part B, but if this does just become one big part, don't worry. It shouldn't be too much longer than this. Alrighty. Let's use the fact that we didn't spring. And as I said, become bees. Whoa. Clearly they don't always stay dead. Hmm. I wonder if there's some like way of telling if they will or will not be still dead. Ah well, maybe it's because we'll reset, Te we'll technically reset by going back to spring. There we go. There's the exit down there. As you already know and have seen multiple times. We don't have an attack. We don't even have an air attack. But to be honest, we don't actually need it. So, let's get going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been El Chivo, this has been the last world of Banjo-Kazooie, in the next few videos we will be getting the, we will be getting to face off against Gruntilda. See you then. <laughs>